you can poke the wire through this hole, fold it back and then solder, or you can tin up this leg and then also tin up the wire and then put them in parallel and then solder them and that's my preferred method. So first of all, now just real low tech solution this by the way, just a wooden clothes peg in a small vise which I've just got on the bench. So let's solder, uh, rather tin up this switch. So I've just added a little bit of uh, solder to the tip, that's going to help heat transfer and then there, okay. Don't want to do it for too long, um, but equally if you don't do it long enough then uh, you're not going to have enough uh, tinned on there and it's not going to be hot enough. So that switch is now tinned, it's going to be a bit warm, I'll just put it there for the moment. And so now we need to get some wire. I'm just uh, cutting it off screen for the moment, there we go, okay, so just some uh, fairly fine stranded wire, stranded is the stuff you're generally going to use, or should be using anyway. So I've just uh, probably trimmed a little bit too much there actually because uh, you only want uh, about as much as the length of the leg, maybe, maybe just a tiny bit more because obviously you can't uh, solder onto the insulation. So we'll leave it like that. I gave it a little twist. Some people would say don't twist it because it's going to add the residues, the, the oils and things from your, um, from your pans. I, I would agree with that, but however, it's what I've done and I don't find it to be a problem. So now um, I'm going to put the uh, put a little bit of solder onto the tip that helps with heat transfer. I go underneath because it's much easier to work like that. And now I have just uh, tinned up the the wire. Really super quick. I mean, it wasn't long at all, was it? That back in view. And now, so I've got the tinned wire, which is going to be placed in parallel with that. Now I'm going to trim it off now. Now it's been uh, tinned. I feel fairly confident that that's a little bit too long. So there we go. Now having tinned both parts, I don't really need to introduce any more solder. I'm just cleaning off the tip of my soldering iron. There. So uh, there, add a little bit more solder. The solder is to help the heat transfer, not to add more solder to the joint in this case. So then I'm just going to touch that leg, just get that there. I don't know how long that was, but that really wasn't long at all. And then, uh, once that's now solidified, that's that's quite strong. Okay, that's really not going to come apart. So, there we go. Hopefully you can see that that's a nice, neat solder joint. And really that is as strong as it could be. Even if you were to poke the wire through the hole and then wrap it back, it wouldn't be any stronger than that. And personally I find that the most acceptable looking joint as well. Hopefully that's going to be useful to someone. If you've got any questions, you can always uh, post a comment.